Meet the world's most successful pickup artist. A man who goes by only one name. Mystery. Born Eric Von Markovic, Mystery was the ultimate geek, rejected by hundreds of beautiful women. Girls didn't even know I was alive. Driven by frustration, he developed a foolproof system for attracting women. Rising to the top of the seduction community, Mystery has been featured in the best-selling book, The Game, and dozens of magazines. Women have a certain number of attraction switches, and I know what they are. A kind of self-styled Russian sex guru, one of her sex and seduction classes on this beach in Thailand, that this extraordinary story appears to have taken a spy novel turn. If you have your wingman, you tell that this wingman, like a friend with yes. whom you make the guy. Yeah. And there is a one girl, and uh, she like you and him as well. Yeah. And you don't know this whom it is, uh, you know. You. You don't understand. Uh, right, uh, right. So how you deal in this situation? Well, here's, here's how it works. Sometimes a woman who wants to meet me, because maybe she's seen me with the girls, but they can't get through the girls to get to me, they'll go to my wingman to start ah, okay. to try to get in. So the wingman has to know that sometimes the girl is for the friend, not for him. Okay. So the man who opens the set doesn't necessarily own the set. He just leads the set. You have to let the woman do the choosing. Maybe I could borrow your hand for this, since we're filming this. My hand here, I think you could tell I don't really work. <laughs> could you rub my hand like this? Yeah, just to show that I have nothing here. Yeah. Keep, keep doing that and look at me. What you're doing has nothing to do with the magic, but I love it. All right, you can stop now. Here, watch here. Ready? Yeah. Magic is real. Yeah, I don't know where I put it, but it's Me neither. Cool. It actually vanished. <laughs> and my dear, your magic is super yeah. fast. Thank you. Cheers to that. It's going to pass, you'll be just fine. I went to Bali, and the one I was using when I got there was Happy 2020. We're in the future now. Yeah, great. Have you seen Back to the Future? You know, at the end of it, they go to 2015. Yeah. Well, when I was saying this in Bali in 2020, I said, it's five years later. Wow. <laughs> We're yes. in the future future. Yes, yes, yes. I have an Oculus Quest VR headset. I have an iPhone, I have an iWatch, I have an i this and i that. We're in the future. I yes. have a drone helicopter. I love this film These so are much. all the things that I never even knew mm -hmm. were going to be here and in my life when I was 12 years old watching Back to the Future. Yeah. That's my opener. That's your opener. That's my opener. I'm opening wow. with Happy 2020. We're in the future. You've seen Back to the Future. Of course. Yeah. But we're in the future now. <laughs> that's my that's my oh, opener. Great. That's so great. I'm not hitting on anyone. I'm just stating ideas, thoughts, excited, fascinated. Super. And super. also there's DHVs, demonstrations of higher value. The fact that I do have a drone helicopter. I do have an iPad, an iPhone, an i this, an i that, a yeah, VR headset. Super. That's great. I'm that type of person. I'm funded. Super. That's great. I love your style because it is... Uh, you, uh, it doesn't seem you try to attract somebody. You're it's, just talking it's, with it's people. It's about That's interest. It. You yeah. know, when, when people in pickup talk about attraction, they're always thinking it's seduction. It's not. Attraction is very much like a roller coaster. You're not going to have sex with it. It's not seduction. Yeah. It's called an attraction for a reason. Yeah. It attracts you. So I'm just looking for interest. Mm -hmm. I want the woman and her group to be interested, not in me sexually, but in what I have to say. We start there, you know, baby steps. If you're interesting, they'll become interested. Mm -hmm. So in your open and in the first three minutes, be interesting. Now here's an interesting thought. 
if you say, let's say you're a comedian and a comedian says one funny thing, you'll say, that was funny. But if he strings several in a row, you'll say he's funny. Yeah. It's no longer the material he runs, but the person saying it, right? Yeah. So similarly to being interesting, if you want to be, uh, you want to be interesting, if you run one interesting gambit, game piece, story, idea, thought, they'll say that's interesting. But if you run several in a row, which is known as stacking openers, if you run several interesting ideas in a row, they'll say you're interesting. Yeah, so yeah. it's not the People material. Focus, uh, it's not the material that gets the acclaim. Yes. Okay. It's the person saying it. Isn't that interesting? That's one. So you you prefer to to attract the girl maximum as you can before you start the seduction. If you act fascinated about a subject, then they can feel that fascination with you. Fascination, I think, is the most important emotion to to convey. As long as you convey that you're not in a hurry to tell it. Uh -huh. Some people think if I can only run it faster before she leaves, then she'll stick around more. But if you speed it up, you'll start looking nervous, reactive, an agenda is being conveyed. Mm -hmm. So you have to speak your opener slowly, okay. like you're the owner of a nightclub. Do not speak at the speed of thought, but rather slow it down so people can hear you in the loud noise. Mm -hmm. When the book, The Mystery Method, How to Get Beautiful Women into Bed came out, It was mainly about structure. Yeah. But people think, oh, that's it. Now I know the structure. And then I know that people have read the book and I watch them game and they're not applying the structure in field with mm -hmm. them. They know the theory, but they don't know what phase they're in when they're in it. You're supposed to actually know what phase you're in when you're in it, when you're in field, in the club or on the street or at any public venue. But it's not just structure. You also need material gambits, game pieces, stories, yeah, uh, stories is the old word would be routines, but really it's routines, gambits yeah, routines. With, uh, for each of the phases. Uh -huh. And if you have, say, three openers for the first phase, three demonstrations of higher value stories for mm -hmm. the second phase, mm -hmm. attraction, three qualifier questions for the third phase, qualifying, and three comfort games for, for when you have won them over enough built enough trust for them to join you in a sit down, build comfort with three comfort gambits. That's your core material. So you need the structure. Yes, it's not my structure. It's a woman's structure, yeah. but you need material to fill the structure. And lastly, you need the delivery of that material so that you don't have mistakes like ums, ahs, talking too fast or talking too monotone, not having enough inflection or animation, you have to put the art back into it. So it's material that fills the structure and you practice enough times, volume and velocity of sets with the same material, the core material, like a comedian has his core material. He can riff, he can interact with the audience, but if he doesn't have his core material, he has no show. Yeah. So I'm very surprised that many people think that pickup is three minutes long. It's not. Pickup is 40 minutes long and courtship is seven hours long. You need to fill the time with activities. Yeah. Not, do you like me? No, next. Do you like me? No, next. Hey, what do you think of my boots? Next. Uh, you know, it, it isn't enough. You need to fill the show. It's a performance. So the solution is get your core material together. Three gambits for each of the first four phases. That's 12 gambits. Get good at saying them to everybody. And then when a woman of particular quality comes along, stick to your material. Don't go, oh, this is special. I'll use my new material. No, you haven't practiced your new material. Okay. As a friend, as a buddy, I've made several buddies here in Kiev. The same way you make a male friend is how you should make a female friend. Yeah. You don't have to sexualize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to befriend them first. Let them sexualize it. Hey, well, I still have this. You've seen smoke circles before, yes? A 
smoke circle? Yeah. Have you ever seen a smoke square? This is a smoke square. Ready? I've been working on that. Yeah, no more. That's an opener. That's a great opener. No one would see that coming. I have had the wonderful opportunity to witness great pickup artists around the world run sets. And the one common thread that they all have is laughter in their sets. They have a laugh track. The best pickup artists make their sets, not just one girl, but their sets, comfortable enough to laugh with them. They, they laugh all the way to the bedroom. Yeah. There is laughter. If you look back at the last 10 sets you've done and you think, wow, I, I don't make them laugh, you're failing. The best pickup artists make them laugh. Yeah. I learned from the best. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, that's right. But that was very... I that's was why very my impressed. openers in my book, Hey Guys, uh -huh. all have a point. They have a laugh point. Laugh point, right? that's good. Like the smoke yeah. square, that's right? very nice. It's yeah. a laugh point. You're not hitting on them. You're making them laugh. You're laughing yourself. Can I show you one? This yeah. I'll do it with you. Yeah. Okay. The, ex the example is off. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Oh, huh? Ah, oh, shit. That's an opener. Wow. <laughs> so you touch them and go, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, huh? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's the opener. Great fun. It's fun, it's good. Right? Yeah. You like magic, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make the ring vanish from my right hand, there, uh -huh. and make it appear in my left hand on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. And now for the hard part to bring it back. Three, two, one. Huh? <laughs> I've been working on that. That's it. But it gets the laugh. That's great. But there's more to it. Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to put it in my right hand. Uh -huh. Okay. Here. I want you to pull my finger. Uh, I need your help on this. Okay. See it? Okay. Pull my finger. Uh -huh. Oh my God. I can't believe you <laughs> fell for that. Hopefully he's got... Look, he's doing compliance test moves. Okay. She's giving a no, she's trying to walk away. He's now chasing and dead. Horrible. Good try. Right. Cause I was here, that's why you did it. <laughs> yeah, just it. Why are you sitting next together? Your enemies, man. How did that happen? I could tell. You didn't smile? And there, I was counting the seconds. When are you going to show that you're in a good mood? You never did. So for her, okay. she doesn't know that you're in a good mood. So neutral face looks scary. We, we, we side on caution, right? Neutral face, you don't know what emotional state he's in. He could be angry, he could be begging for change. We don't know yet. But if you're smiling, and your opener is fun and has a joke built into it, like the, the uh, smoke square joke that we talked about. Smile on the next set. Big, fun. You brought your, you brought your baggage to that set. The baggage of not being warmed up, not being happy. That's why it didn't work. It wasn't your game, it was your attitude. You, the emotional state. Your emotional state was yeah. not conveyed as non-threatening. Yeah. Also, when she moved, you then followed. Every second you did that, three times, three times she felt that you needed to talk to her. Not yeah. that you were the high-valued male that she could chase. You were doing the chasing. She was also a part of a three-set. 
You didn't work the three set. You worked one girl. Two girls kept going because that girl must have been hit on like this numerous times already because there's a lot of day gamers doing exactly what you do. But hey, man, on your plow. That was something to do. Day game center of the universe, I guess. Uh, yeah, but, it, but it's, been, it's been killed. It's been killed by this. That girl is going to be hit on in the next five minutes by someone doing the same thing you did. Well, I'm curious, so what was your opener? What Did you say, oh, you're really beautiful? No, even though I she had sunglasses saw her on? Because of her, uh, her dress. Okay, away, so a situational yeah. opener. It works a little bit better than uh, compliments here, at least. Okay. I guess. I would say compliments here is, is hard. If yeah. Really beautiful, it's hard. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Because they know. You know, you're really beautiful. I know. Now what? I gotta go. Right. Uh, also, your false time constraint, where you said 60 seconds. Oh my God, I have to stand for 60 seconds to a guy who isn't smiling? If you say, I can only stay a second, I have my friends here. A second. But if you say, I can only stay a minute, some guy will say 59, 58, 57. Go ahead, try to pick her up, man. Right? I've, I've lost on saying 60 seconds too, on saying a minute. I only got a minute. Instead say, I only have a second, I have my friends here. I have a thought to share with you. And then run an opener that conveys your personality and your current emotional state, having a smile. Add that in to your next set, it'll go a lot better. You just weren't in state. I am not, I know. Yeah, yeah that's the game. Yes, but good man, yes, you know. More, ch you more, cha you know. sure. more chance of getting a girl by trying than not. So, good on you for that. I will, I will. Is that you know, thanks a lot mm. for your advice. Good to see. Good to see that you're out here. Keep going. You are opening in English or in Russian? Oh, English only. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do Russian at you all. Know, I'm embarrassed. You speak Russian? That was a Russian set, yeah. Oh, I speak Russian. Russian. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, just when, 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 when they don't stop and I try to quickly say something, the pronunciation is really bad. Yeah. Have you noticed? You and you, uh, have you noticed how many sets have you done today? Is that your third or fourth? No, no, I did about fifteen. Oh, you've been really gaming. How many of them were like that? Ten. All of them are going wrong. You're doing it wrong, son. Ready for a big solution that's going to help you? walk and talk you're stopping them she was walking that way you could have went oh shit i forgot something turned the other way started walking her direction walk in front of her and over the shoulder don't turn too much over the shoulder like a friend open walk and talk buys you three minutes she's still walking you could still be talking to her but you accepted the stop she didn't and then she went on instead walk and talk Try that. It'll increase your chances by about 300%. I do this sometimes. Yeah. And uh, I know you were going the opposite easy. direction, but you saw her ahead of time enough for you to go, oh shit, oh, where's my wallet? And then you turn and walk the other way, let her catch up, and then over the shoulder, open and direct, and walk and talk. Try the walk and talk. That, that was it's not my question. Genius. Because if, if she realized I ch I'm just turning because of her, no, that you she turn think that no, I'm, it's Of course, but something. that's if she walks past and then you turn. But you saw her ahead of time yeah. and you stopped her, right? Instead, go, oh shit, and then turn and walk that way. Then slow down, wait till she catches up, and then initiate the chat indirectly. Okay. You know, you don't like not the you're beautiful, but rather as if you're in conversation with a friend, just yeah. walk and talk. Walk and talk. It's a sound bite, walk and talk. I try it. It's a, it all, an experiment, man, it's all great. I think you're doing kick-ass. Yeah. Well, maybe he has to train first, but maybe he's not oh. training properly, meaning he's trying something new each time, he's trying, yeah. and it's not working, so he has to keep going, yeah. otherwise yeah. he goes home alone, right? But what you should be training on is the delivery of the material you're going to use on the 10 when she arrives. Uh -huh. It's practice of practice. your material, not practice of something fresh and new to explore how people behave. Mm -hmm. You know, because how people behave is they ignore 
the bum. He approached like a bum. He stopped her, and then she moved. He moved. Lost value. He said, uh, you know, uh, uh, 60 seconds, too long. Then he moved her aside. She indulged in it, but her arms were crossed. She indulged in a stranger. He didn't emote, didn't show any emotion, wasn't thrilled, and was talking about her, not talking about Titanic. Yes. That is uh, your uh, idea, to talk about something outside, not inside. Something interesting, certainly. Something uh, not connected with me and you and just something another. Want to hear a good opener as you walk and talk? Do you think Eminem is hot? Why? Great. The short version? Yeah. Is Eminem hot? Right. Is Bieber hot? Nice. That's a nice opener because it's not, excuse me, you look very beautiful. I wanted to uh, invite you to a party. Why? That's so bad. Instead, say, is Justin Bieber hot? I have a question for Baxter. Was you impressed from something uh, that girls uh, do to uh, take your interest here in Kiev? What did IOIs? They, did, did they do, do something do. original well, they that do, to impress they, you? They, well, I one. don't know about impressing. On the balcony. Remember oh, the balcony? Yeah, yeah, balcony? Yeah, yeah. Well, minute. there's ah, a girl got naked. Ah, got, yeah, but got, we got, said no as well. Yeah, we <laughs> said girl, what, one by what, what she did? Um, she, do you tell off balcony? camera. Yeah, ah, okay. we'll tell you off camera. But, okay. uh, nothing uh, happened. Ah, okay, nothing okay. happened. But <laughs> yes, sometimes so by saying no to a woman, she'll get reactive. Uh-huh. They're, especially when they're particularly attractive, they're not used to a man saying no. So they'll get reactive to that and overcompensate by trying to throw more indicators of interest. It's like what, what amateur guys do and pick up. You know, a girl says no, so you try to hit on her more. Ah, okay. So sometimes you tell Take no. Take the hint, dude. Needy, Take the hint. Especially, yeah. Neediness. They, they so so needy. sometimes it's good to say no special to make more reaction, yeah, from she, as I understand. Or you're yeah. legitimately qualifying them and they're failing to qualify. <laughs> you can attract a woman without knowing the language. In fact, you know Google Translate? Yeah. It's romantic. Yeah. yeah. You know, what is romance? It's unrequited love. It's where obstacles get in the way and you deal with them. You know, that one time we were in, in St. Petersburg, it was a two set. Yeah. You went upstairs with one yeah. and you left me with the other one. It was just equally as pretty, but she didn't speak a lick of English. So we entertained each other with Google Translate. And it was romantic. She okay. spent the night. There you go. And when we traveled South America, we had to they just don't. do flash game. Yeah, flash game. They don't speak a lick of English there or care to. Yes, in Brazil, very few. Right? Yeah. And that's okay. Portuguese, Portuguese. And that's okay because... You speak Portuguese, no? No, I'm not. No. A, I, I speak English very well and every other language, niet. Let's, let's uh, in closing, talk about what the viewers at home can do to improve their game dramatically. I would say very first and foremost, seek a mentor. Find a mentor and have him take you under his wing. We offer a three-day, three-night boot camp. The next one is in Barcelona, November 26th, 27th, 28th. It's coming up. Fly there, Uber to your Airbnb, near the location where we do our seminar by day. It's a group of men, like-minded individuals, lovely men, all getting together with the single purpose of improving our social skills. Specifically, we work on the core material. You need openers, DHV stories, some negs, some qualifier questions, some comfort games, and that's your whole game. And you work 25 minutes minimum, 25 to 40 minutes really, the girl will offer value in in the conversation too. You don't have to fill the whole 25 minutes. She will invest in that time as well. But if you can get good at your core material and get good at the delivery of it, and and that's what we work on over three days and nights is going in field with us, gaming, approaching set after set. If you do a dozen sets a night over three nights, well over three dozen sets, you will go home 
with a skill set. All right. Thank you, Mr. Good Thank times, you, man. Baxter. Thank you. You are great. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Your, your game is for clubs. More, more, uh, he's more for, for clubs. clubs. No, my game is for hot women. Well, hot women happen to be at clubs. But if they're not at a club, they're in a cafe. It's, it's, you know, the difference between day and night game is not the sun. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter whether the sun's up or down. If she's hot, I'm going to open the set. Okay. okay. <laughs> you could turn the music off in your head. You can put circles around the groups. So you can see that's a three set, a five set, a two set, a six set. Not a whole bunch of people dancing, being crazy. There's no logic to it until you see the patterns. When you go out a hundred times, you start seeing, oh, I've seen this before. And that's, you know, all my theory comes from my experiments in field. Mm -hmm. It comes from in field. I didn't just invent it. I didn't say, hey, this looks logical. Let's, let's do that. Mm -hmm. It didn't work that way. I first got good. And then in order to teach it, I had to figure out what, what is it that I am doing, mm -hmm. right? And that's the result, yeah. mystery method. They, field test, yeah, yeah, people say, yeah, uh, field test. hey, what do you think of this opener? You know, I'm like, have you field tested it? Like, is it getting laughs? If it's not getting laughs, don't give yeah. it to me. Don't tell it online. Hey, I just came up with a new opener. Guys, try this. Don't try that. It's new. Right? What's up? What's up? Field test it. Do it a hundred times. And then write about it. Okay.